For terminally ill patients and their families, Serenity Hospice and Home provides the support and resources to die with peace and dignity, surrounded by loved ones in a warm and compassionate home environment. For over 25 years, Serenity Hospice and Home has been helping those in need right here at home. Serenity Hospice and Home was created by the community, is supported by the community, and exists to serve the community. We support patients with terminal cancer, end-stage heart disease, lung disease, and others, helping those patients and their families through very tough times. Death is a normal part of life, yet when it is upon us, most of us are not ready for it. Patients, families, and even medical providers have had a singular focus to this point, defeating the disease. But when that goal cannot be realized and death is inevitable, many families find themselves overwhelmed, exhausted, distraught, and unsure of what to do next. If given the choice, most people would choose to spend their final days in their own home, surrounded by their family and friends. But often, caring for a terminally ill person is too difficult to be accomplished without help. Serenity Hospice and Home exists to help patients and families during these times. Most families have never had experiences with death and dying. Um, they may be confused about the symptoms they're seeing. They may have misconceptions about our ability to control some of those symptoms. They may not know who to talk to uh, to determine what their needs are, and we can help them with all of that. When they come to us, you know, a lot of times they'll just say, I feel like the weight's been lifted off my shoulders because the hospice team is so willing to, to support them and listen to them and give them guidance. It's important to be able to just have people be able to relax and live in that day and enjoy their family and have some plans instead of being so overwhelmed. It's a chance to really alleviate suffering at, at the final hour, at a time when they really need it the most. Our hospice team consists of nurses, social workers, home health aides, spiritual counselors, volunteers, and physicians, all dedicated to meeting the physical, spiritual, and emotional needs of our patients. We provide symptom and pain management to promote patient comfort, and our team assists patients with daily life tasks and functions and provides support for the families and caregivers as well. Sometimes it's just sitting quietly and listening. Other times it's reminiscing of days gone by or helping family members with the grieving process. Our staff will laugh with you, cry with you, and celebrate life with you. Sometimes, though, for a variety of reasons, home care is not possible. In 2003, a group of people caring about those with a life-limiting disease made it their mission to build a place for hospice patients to stay when being at home wasn't an option. They envisioned a hospice center that would look and feel very much like home and would be available to patients and their families in their final days. Their dream became Serenity Home, located south of Oregon, Illinois, to serve patients from the many communities in the surrounding area. Well, for patients that have symptoms that are out of control, such as pain, nausea, vomiting, or seizures, the Serenity Home provides a home-like environment with 24-hour nursing care. Families are encouraged to stay as long as they wish. There are many amenities to make their stay as comfortable as possible. The Serenity Home also provides respite care for patients, allowing caregivers to attend to their own health needs, attend a family wedding, go on a vacation, or other life events. In both instances, the patient can return to their home or nursing facility to resume their hospice care in their own home environment. Serenity Home is an eight-bedroom home with family areas like a full kitchen, dining room, living room, children's room, and a chapel. 
the home is staffed 24-7 by trained Serenity Hospice and Home team members. This home was made possible by the generous donations and support of the community and has made a dramatic impact on the lives of numerous patients and families. When I came down here after talking to my kidney doctor about me making the choice to go off dialysis, I knew that this was a place that I should come to because they were going to not only take care of my physical and mental things, but the spiritual aspects, they were going to help me with that too. And, um, I've been very, very pleasantly surprised. I was crying for the first couple of days because I couldn't believe how nice everyone was to me and how good they were taking care of me. I've been a hospice volunteer, so I know what it takes to work with families and and all the different situations that could come up and they just had everything covered. The patient's family, and I've heard this from families already, they just feel so comfortable here. Um, and they know their, their family member is in a good place. It's a very peaceful place. I had a first grade teacher that never had had children. And I think that she and her, she and her husband adopted me. I was, you know, a little kid, poor little kid, and. She never forgot a Christmas or a birthday for 46 years. I got a call. They were bringing Marge in. She looked up at me from that gurney and she said, there's my girl. They took her to the room my mom had been in just a few months before. And the day she died, I got to take care of her. I was her nurse. That little girl, that six-year-old girl, became a nurse with her pushing me. And I got to take care of her and I said, Marge, now you know how much I loved you. And afterwards, I fixed her all up. And I know that it was just the end of the circle. That circle didn't ever end. That she took care of that little girl and loved her all those years. And I got to take care of her the last day she, she was on this earth. It wasn't a, you know, a place to come to grieve. It was a place to enjoy the final, you know, the final times of, of dad's life and, uh, and uh, we were able to uh, you know be in the room with him and uh, it was just such a wonderful way to enjoy the last you know times that we had together with him. Serenity Hospice and Home believes that every patient with a life-limiting illness deserves the care that hospice provides even those who can't afford it. The Serenity Hospice and Home Foundation helps to make this possible by raising funds for patients unable to afford the cost of hospice services. You just know they, they're, they're just more at peace knowing that their loved one died without um, pain, that they could be there at their bedside the whole time, that all their needs were met without them having to, to worry about um, making that happen. If you believe in a heaven, then you can have a little piece of that heaven here on earth before you go to heaven. Because the nurses here um, show that kind of care, they show that kind of love to every patient. And I think that's what makes this place so special. At one time or another, all of us will face the loss of a loved one. Serenity Hospice and Home will make that time easier to bear. Whether it's hospice in the home or in the Serenity Home, our staff will be there with compassion, skill, and a genuine love for what they do. The one uh, family member wrote back saying her mother had been here, and she wrote that her mom was queen for a day every day that while she was at the Serenity Home. We know we've done a good job when we've helped someone with a peaceful death, when we've helped their families begin um, their grief process and to help them make this a peaceful death. If you need more information on hospice services, give us a call. We'd be happy to talk with you. Serenity Hospice and Home, walking with you through this final journey of life.